first question of the night. Actually, I'm actually bringing this up because Ali actually wants you. I actually want you to go first with this, if you can. A question of the night, people. Name an IP, intellectual property, that you have up the most love for and explain in a few words why you love it so much. Why is this particular IP so near and dear to your heart? I mean, isn't it kind of obvious? Yeah. I'm, of course, going to say Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just a given. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, I really... You know, even with all the crap of the prequels, uh, even though, you know, some people like them, that's fine. Um, I, I do really respect the series, and I just love how immersive it is and how much it feels like its own world. It feels so grounded, uh, even though there's just, like, all of this stuff that could never exist in our world, or doesn't, at least for now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I just... I don't know, I just love Star Wars so much. I just love the characters, just love the world, uh, the technology, uh, the stories. So that's what I would say. Yeah, and then plus, I mean, I'm sure you're into like just the whole, all the different medias of, of Star Wars too, like the movies, the games, the fucking, the books, the this. The, yeah, yeah so. definitely. Comics, you know, I, I love it all. Uh, you know, I played Force Unleashed, I've played mm -hmm. uh, the Star Wars The Old Republic. Haven't gotten to KOTOR. Yeah. Probably won't ever, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I can read a lot, you know, some of the books and the comics, and I just love all of it um, equally. I would actually go next just to give people time to think. And I was actually kind of split on this because I didn't know which one to bring up first, but I just go with the obvious because I always talk about it on the MCA. But Bioshock, the Bioshock series, just connects yes. with me on just a mental, emotional, um, like, from a game designer perspective, how what that game did for video games back in the day, or not back in the day, but just like in the sense that the first one kind of mocked the whole of uh, you always have choice in a video game when you really you don't. And they actually, you know, twisted that into the mythos and the origins of the game and stuff like that. And how infinite goes on to like a bigger story of time travel and stuff like that. So I just love this. Kind of like what Ali said about Star Wars. I just love those worlds. I would, love, I would love to know more about Rapture. Like I will always say like on Netflix, I would love a mini series to actually show the lead up to the fall of Rapture. Like I think that would be fucking cool. Just to like learn more about the characters, the mythos, and most of all the philosophies, like what people thought, because that's the one of the thing, main things that brings me to my shot. Just Andrew Ryan's philosophy of no um no, what does he say in the beginning? No man, no no government, only man. Or is it, Wait, is this like fucking John Lennon? Like <laughs> No, I just think like, the whole thing. It always, it always imagine think no of, religion. <laughs> it's just like that philosophy of, because I'm a creator. I always say that. If I had like enough money, I would just create endlessly. And f just for this game to just go that far with Andrew Ryan, just like, dude, I will create, fuck everything. I'm going to even build a city at the bottom of the ocean if I fucking wanted to, because I just want to create. So eh, it's just Bioshock. Bioshock just connects with me a lot. So, See, yeah, I just, get what you're going, Anthony, because for me, definitely is the Grand Theft Auto series, man. Like, honestly, oh, that's yeah. the only series I could constantly go back to and play the older generations, and they still hold up. Like, for example, this week, I really got into playing Vice City and uh, nice. GTA 3 again, and those games just brought me back to my childhood. And just, I love this when they do the story of, like, the criminal <clears throat> that's trying his best to get out of the game, or, you know, he's just constantly being dragged into it. And they've done that story, I think, about, two or three times now with, uh, I think it's GTA uh, 4 and with uh, Franklin's story. And I love how they show that some of these criminal guys can be sympathetic, especially with uh, Nico Bellic in GTA 4, how he kind of just gets forced in these situations because that's kind of all he knows. And you just, just the way they just build their roles, the character designs, the Easter eggs they put inside the game, and how well detailed they make their worlds. I just love everything about Rockstar. And they're the, they're the only studio that I see that little logo come up and I know a badass video game is about to appear, no matter what the fuck they're making, because they just put so much talent and so much time into their creations. And come on, if they take fucking eight years to make the next one, <laughs> they're in Vice City again. Yeah, and they're yeah. not always trying to get money out of you, like releasing something every single fucking year. It's like, nah, like, we're going to make this shit good. You know? Oh, well, Alan, and actually, I'm curious. Alan, what do you disagree with on that? Oh, well, I don't know. They released GTA uh, 5. 
and then they released it again the next year, and then the next year they released it on PS oh, on PC, and then they did all the, the microtransactions. It's the same game so. though, it's not like it's yeah. a new game, like Assassin's Creed being <laughs> released every. Yeah. Year. Don't worry, that's not the one I'm gonna say. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. <laughs> she was like, I got you, I got you Ganja. <laughs> she took that shotgun and was like, bitch. <laughs> 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 Don't you know you're a Ubisoft fan, bitch? I'm not gonna say Assassin's Creed <laughs> <laughs> because it's more as like the, the the second one for me. The number one is obviously The Legend of Zelda. Ooh, it's something yes. that it really it got me into video gaming because before that game came out, I mean, I you know I had an SNES, but I never really played anything. Hell, I even played you know uh, like the Mario games. But they never really got me into video gaming. It wasn't until I played Ocarina of Time, and it connected with me because I was the same age as the main character. And me being short, you know, people just, you know, forgot I exist or didn't even notice me. But seeing somebody that's almost my same height fighting dragons and dinosaurs and saving the kingdom, all because he can, not because someone's forcing him to, but because he thinks it's the right thing, that to me just got to me immediately. With every subsequent release, you know, Ocarina of Time, then you go, you know, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Breath of the Wild coming out, or even the DS games. Even though you know, people can argue, oh, they're just the same game over and over. You see such differences in either the technology or what they're doing or how they're even telling essentially the same story in a completely different sense. Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time aren't the same game. You know, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, all that stuff. They're very drastically different, even though they're tackling the same idea. And that to me, it's something like I, for the next 20 years, they could be making Legend of Zelda games and I'm going to be buying every single one just to see how they change things up. So mm. you, you would say that every single Zelda game that comes out, you're right away, like day one buy. Like you, yeah, you 100%. Sold. Okay, damn. That's not. That's actually nice. Same thing with Ganja and GTA. Like, I, I actually like that. That you guys are like, no, fuck it. Like, I don't need to know. I don't need to see no reviews. Like, I'm sold. And that's how I am with, with Metal Gear Solid, for instance, too. And that's my my IP is like Metal Gear nice. Solid. The the continuity in that game. That's continuity porn. Like, <laughs> the fact that they have so much like cutscenes and whatnot. And you would think, okay, this is convoluted. This is fucking stupid. And it is convoluted. And it is kind of stupid. But you can go back and like Wikipedia this shit and just overly like read about this stuff everything connects and there's not a single flaw and that's amazing to do with a video game especially yeah. something as crazy as that with prequels and sequels and remakes and all this shit everything connects beautifully and it's like an, it's like a different reality it's, it's amazing there's this other world out there it's milk your solid world and it's fucking real and it's breathing and i love it um, and it's actually kind of impressive too for like metal gear to be as such pristine as it is considering that the main character is a ripoff of something else so that's kind of, kind of no, not, not, i'm not even not sure a ripoff it. it was inspired by <laughs> inspired New York. with everyone no, said <laughs> the fucking kojima came up and said that he was inspired by the character it's not a ripoff man no because i can i, I can say that shit by means <laughs> too but yeah and here's yeah. a picture of you guys don't know what we're talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so amazing. It's kind of like, got sued. <laughs> no, Metal Gear Solid is kind of like the perfect representation of that quote that they say. It's just like, yeah, you could be original, but it's all a matter about like who you steal from and how you do it. <laughs> so I, I, all I, I took with that. the likeness. I'm pretty sure Escape from New York doesn't have nano machines in it. Well, um, would Harry po Harry Potter would count, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um. I've just been, of course, a huge fan of like both the books and the movies, and I just love how like it grew with the audience. Like it started out like more like you know, kinds of a kid stuff, and then it just got darker and darker as the series went along. Mm. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Were you like? Because these movies, when when they started coming out, I was like, all right, like this actually looks pretty cool. I don't know shit about these books or whatever, and mm -hmm. I was just into it because it's like popular, you know. Um, I was one of those yeah. guys. If the TV says it's good, then it must mean it's good. Then I was one of those fucking dumbass kids. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like you know, you're into the books before this too. Like, this is something that you were waiting for, or? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was into the books, you know, yeah, for a while, book. and then, yeah. I got when... into it by accident because of. Uh... Hey, um, Adrian, I want to ask you, too, maybe because you're older than me, so I don't think you was a part of that whole book club, but anybody was a part of the whole Scholastic book club? Oh, uh, I remember that. They, they had those when I was in school, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's how I got into it, because I would just read a lot of Scholastic books, like Captain Underpants, I think, was under that line, yeah. and then, you know, um, Harry Potter had came out, and it was under Scholastic, and that's how I got into it, and yeah, it just kind of blew my fucking mind, so... 
Yeah, I agree with you, Adrian. Wait, totally. when did the first book come out? I can't remember. When that was, was I know. Uh, long I think long. it was ninety eight or ninety nine because yeah. they think it came out in Europe right. in ninety seven. I mean, in ninety seven. Yeah. No, but uh, Jax, you actually go, man. What is an IP that you love so and dear to your heart, and why do you love it so much? Uh, well, okay, well, I'll just make mine very clear. The thing I personally love is like ice cream. You don't bitch about it being complex, a full course meal. Instead, you just learn to take <laughs> what it cream. is and enjoy it simple, but it's oh so good ice cream. And that's fucking Dragon Ball Z. All right, that shit oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is my shit. <laughs> All oh, right. I I, I, <laughs> no, I will be completely honest. Because like I, real talk, Dragon Ball Z is my favorite thing. It's the reason I work out today. Cause like I'll tell you like this, like this is pretty much true. Back when I was a little kid, I was like really chubby like super chubby like i looked like bobby hill like i was like really out of it and i was just like always wearing these nerdy clothes and i would talk about nerdy stuff and these bullies like they started making fun of me because like i also had a stutter back in the day like a really bad stutter so i'd be like as it and it was horrible and so like yeah, um they would see you too, bro. yeah 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 <laughs> I know. And so like i started having like these i like i would wear these shirts with the buff characters the dragon ball z characters and the bullies would be like oh so those guys can fight do you know how to fight and then they would slap me around and beat me up and be like oh so you can't I had to fight and then like I one time I tried to fight back and they just completely wrecked me and I felt like so bad I came home crying I had bruises on my body and I just watched Dragon Ball Z when I got home and it was an episode where uh, Goku was fighting Frieza and he was just it's the fact that he was just such a nice guy but he was so strong and so kind and so humble it's like that just made me go wow I really want to be a nice strong kind guy like that but if anyone fucks with me I can whoop their ass so like that show literally just inspired me and motivated me to start working out and train to be the best I could be because like I was so fucked Fucking sick of like getting my ass because I was like, no, nah, fuck that. So I started weight training, started going to martial arts classes. And I was just like, yeah, man. So that's oh, pretty much Darius <laughs> Jax is giving us his superhero origin story. Oh, man. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> you know, you have no idea. I had like a problem where, like, since when I got all jacked up, like, I, if anyone would like fuck with me or like say a joking thing, I mean, I kind of like had a Mike Tyson thing. Like, what the fuck did you just say to me? What the button, Jordan? I was just joking. No, what the fuck did you? And I was just like, I like, I don't know what it was. I just had this mentality like, no one's gonna fuck with me ever again. And so, like, so did you said, so wait, you, no, 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 you man. became Goku later on. You started out as Frieza when you got. Big. No, no, I started out as Vegeta because I was like, you're not <laughs> fucking with me. You're not fucking with me anymore. <laughs> That's what it was. He was like, this isn't my final form. <laughs> 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 Dad, in third grade, I did used to do that. Like, it play out. Like, I'm gonna see if I can power. Wow. Oh, Dude, so you know, uh, Jax was like that boy. When they yeah. talk about a spiel. The one was just like my final four. Ah! <laughs> I still am, boy! <laughs> no, it's no, not. Imagine that happens, you're about to fight some guy, he just starts screaming for the fucking reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, so I guess IP for me would have to be Sailor Moon. Um, yes! Up, like, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Girl, no, no, I have a legit reason for this. Growing up, it was a really good series and it has influenced a lot of my rating and stuff, but... Like, the arcs are really, really good, considering that the creator basically was going to kill them off at the end of the first arc and say, that was it, I'm done. And it grew so big that she had to bring him back, but she brought him back and she grew the universe to a really, really, really big, fulfilling universe that, you know, travels through time and stuff. And it's really impressive. But Trey, what is an IP that is just near and dear to your heart, buddy? Well, Jax took Dragon Ball Z, which, by the way, respect. Oh, my man! Fellow <laughs> Dragon Ball is for life! <laughs> well, I guess, high five. Yeah. <laughs> I know what my second choice, and that's Spider-Man. I just really love Spider-Man. Just, just oh the aspect, God. like, we grew up with, like, TV shows, like, Spider like Superman anime series, and, like, people with powers. Like, Spider-Man, like, I guess I just loved him so much, because, like, he had, like, web powers, but, like, that was it. Like, he was just like us. And I guess that's what made me respect him a lot more. Sure, and that's like made me... I like you, man, because Spider Man is my favorite superhero of all time. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, I, I can't, I can't defend the movies at all. I'm not gonna sit here and defend Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield or anything like that. But like Spider Man the animated series and uh, the Spider Man show, Spider -Man. Spectacular Spider Man, and uh, Ultimate Spider Man. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Drake Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, we're going to the cafe in Nicopara.
Yes. 